Hello everybody, Ramblin' Mike here. Gonna do another walkthrough with uh, one of my favorite decks, a deck that I've trimmed down. It's going to be available if you would like to purchase it. Um, it is the amazing Tarot of Dreams by Chiro Marchetti. This deck has a book that comes with it, a fun little book, a nice book. And this deck also comes with 70, no, 82 cards. The, the 78 of the tarot. And it also has four bonus cards in it that Chiro has drawn up. Uh, one of them being the Palace of Coins. The Palace of Wands. The Palace of Swords and the Palace of Cups. And these are all um, written about in the book. They're add-ons. You can play with them in your tarot deck if you'd like. So, it's gonna do a quick walkthrough. Like I said, this uh, deck, it comes with an amazing box. I always sign them because I hand trim all these myself. Um, I, uh, you know, a deck like this, it's amazing, but in my opinion, it's a little too big. I like it, I cut it down, nice. I mean, there's the Fool, it's amazing. Fits in your hand nicely, shuffles real nice. The back came out very nice for a trim deck. It's beautiful, so here we do, here we go. Gonna do uh, a quick walkthrough here. First one is the Fool card. Simply gorgeous, love that Fool right there. Standing on top of the world. The number one card, the Magician. Gorgeous. Number two, the High Priestess. Number three, the Empress. Gorgeous right there. The Golden Child in her hand. Number four, the Emperor. Stunning. Number five. Chiro calls this the faith card. Uh, this is the Hierophant. Six. The lovers. Seven. The chariot. Eight. Strength. Nine, the Hermit. Ten, the Wheel of Fortune. Gorgeous. Eleven, Justice. Twelve, an amazing Hangman. Gotta love the Death Card. 13, Temperance, 14, 15, The Devil, love this Devil card, 16, The Tower, 17, The Star, 18, the moon. 19, the sun. Love that sun card. 20, judgment. There they are, coming up out the grave. And 21, the world card with a fool right in the middle of it. Beautiful majors. Beautiful majors. I mean, you just got to love this guy's artwork. It's when it's small enough to play in your hand. It's just an amazing deck. Here we go. Going to go with the wands first. The ace of wands. The two of wands. Here he is. The three of wands. The four 
of Wands. Here's our tussle, the Five of Wands, our victory, the Six of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the New Beginnings and Passion of the Eight of Wands. It's gorgeous with the birds flying with the wands. There he is, our warrior, nine of wands, and our ten wands. Our first face card, this is the page of wands. The expression on the faces with the characters here, it's magic. The knight of wands. Love that. Dragon, huh? Beautiful. The Queen of Wands. Magic. And our King of Wands. Again. Magic. Off to our Aces. The beautiful Ace of Swords. Our two of swords, our land of indecision. Our three of swords, beautiful representation of it, the tear running down the face. The four of swords, the healing. And I like how he's laying on that fourth sword right there. He's taking his old helmet off, he's done with the battle. But he's laying on that sword. He's still able to cut things off that no longer serve him for his highest good. Healing from the Three of Swords. The Five of Swords. There it is right there. The Six of Swords. I love this Six of Swords, huh? The boat coming out of the choppy waters through the gates right there. Amazing. Seven of Swords, there he is. Oh, sneaky, huh? Uh, eight of Swords, the Sleepless Nights. Oh, the Eight of Swords, the Mental Anguish, forgive me. Nine of Swords, the Sleepless Nights. But I mean, if you don't clear up Eight of Swords, it goes to Nine of Swords rather quickly. And the Ten of Swords. You can see him. I, I like this. It, it certainly looks to me like those swords are coming out of his back. They've been in there for a while. Huh? He went through the eight and the nine of swords. Completion of a cycle right here. Again, another beautiful face card. Our page of swords. Our knight of swords. There's our queen of swords, amazing. And our king of swords. Off to the cups. Beautiful, ace of cups. Love it, the two of cups, the two swans, the two angelic beings, the divine light. The two cups, it's gorgeous. The three of cups definitely can represent uh, parties that you may not be invited to, huh? Three of cups, the masks and all of that. That's really what I get from this deck, but that's why we use different decks. Each deck has its own flair and its own personality. The four of cups, there he is. Looking up to the heavenlies, wants to know clearly, huh? A little reevaluation. The Five of Cups, it's a nice representation of the old river of tears right there, the spilled cups and the two cups behind them that they need to be focusing on. Six Cups, it's beautiful. The children, the cups with the flowers, Beautiful Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. 
I always get this uh, feeling with Chiro's artwork with the Seven of Cups of that of a fantasy, dreaming, all of that with his Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups is very clear, very nicely drawn here. You know, walking away from something that's no longer emotionally fulfilling. Raising the vibration, going up, not just only going away. Nine of Cups, gorgeous, you know. The wish fulfillment, the genie, he looks like a genie to me. The genie in the bottle, your wish coming true. Ten of Cups, look at this, it's absolutely gorgeous. The, the door is open, huh? The sun shining through. The happy family, the happy ever after. Here is our page of cups. Our knight of cups. I love him on a seahorse right there. Our queen of cups with her giant cup of love that she so wants to give to somebody special. Our king of cups. And to the suit of pinnacles, Chiro calls them coins. The ace of coins with old Atlas right there. Big, beautiful, golden ace of coins. Our two of coins, the juggler. Juggling life. Our three of coins. There he is. Working on something that's important to him. The four of coins, huh? And a little closed off. So it's about a little bit of misery, all of that. The five of coins, definitely a beautiful representation of being left out in the cold. Ignoring the divine, the old stained glass window right there. Six of coins, seven of coins, beautiful. Eight of coins, burning that midnight oil. Nine of coins, there she is. Minor Arcana Empress, high vibration. And 10 of coins, beautiful. Looks like the same doorway, huh? Of that 10 of cups. Our page of coins. Our knight of coins. Our queen. Last but not least, huh? Our king of coins, who I like to call the king of the world. It's a beautiful deck. If you're interested in this deck for yourself, or these make lovely gifts, um, if I have this video running, then I have this deck ready to go. It's wrapped up. I make all my stuff very pretty, in case you're wondering. Why not? It's tarot. If you would like to give somebody this gift and you just send me their, their name and their address, I will absolutely wrap it. We'll put a little message in it from you for them. Beautiful gifts for yourself and for your friends. All the information's down below on how to get your hands on this amazing trim deck. Hope you guys are enjoying these. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.